What is good everybody? Welcome back to another week of the Weekly React series. Uh, not as many releases this week, but a few key interesting ones. I'll be at North Coast this weekend only on Sunday, so if you're heading to North Coast, uh, don't be afraid to say hi. Looking forward to the K Trinata set, if any of you are K Trinata fans, um, as well as Porter. Um, there's a lot of good stuff going on for North Coast. Was gonna do all three days, but something came up. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. A lot of new music. All right, this is uh, these two together. You just know this is gonna be a classic, right? I don't imagine I'd be disappointed by it. I'm not gonna try to hype it up too much, though. Oh snap! Oh, love I loved all the fake outs in the pre drop, too. So infectious. Always knows how to get you moving. Oh! Oh my god. Just bringing all the funk, all the funk step. This is gonna be close with uh, Blasta, with Enzo. Both of these are just kinda in a world of their own. I feel like this is taking a little bit of a, a another step in terms of like sound selection and creativity. Because with Grizz and even Alice Dream, you kind of know what you're getting, but this is kind of refreshing. Yeah, more of a straightforward classic sound here. Just let the snare ride out. Ooh, that's gonna be up there for Song of the Week. And just on the year, this is one of the better ones. Alright, we got Affinity, which is uh, formerly one half of Pixel Terror. I don't know much about this project. I know Bentley stayed with Pixel Terror. Eh, Pixel Terror? I believe it's Aria, right? Am I saying that correctly? It was the other half of Pixel Terror that started Affinity. Percussion sounds similar to some pixel terror stuff. You can hear that the drum and the kick or the, the kick and the snare feels like it it stayed the same. Still got that heavy punch. I like this. This is a more refreshing take on some melodic bass music. Yes. That guitar is the end of that is really beautiful. Um, I wonder if this was what the split was about. Like they like one of them wanted to do melodic and the other one was like, no, let's keep Pixel Terror heavy. Cause this has got like a nice balance to it. Bring the filter out. different. <laughs> nice. Yes, finally something that feels fresh, you know? Just when I thought I was going to say melodic bass is dead. I mean, that's kind of a blend of a couple of genres. I wouldn't purely call it melodic bass, but you know, you get the gist. Interesting stuff from Affinity. Abiella and Conroe. These chords and the kick. And even the vocalist kind of sounds like lights. I get the slightest dead mouse vibe in the intro. 
but not anymore. I love Conroe's uh, just overall production style. It's always got this kind of like warm, crisp. Will I regret covering this? I don't know. We'll see. Why not just do a cover? Why do you have to switch the vocals up? Or the lyrics? Oh, you got them. You switched up the intro verse. I do like her voice, though. Just kidding. That's not the verse. It's like the whole, the whole chorus, the whole song. I can see Get Up Bop into this. I don't hate it. I kind of want to hate it, but... Yeah, that sultry pop artist vocal sounds so good. It, it sounds like it would be a mashup of two songs in a DJ set, but instead it's just like a rework of an original. I mean, your casual listener is going to enjoy it. I just, it's whatever. All right, because I worry about electronics creativity at times. Let's get weird with G. Jones. This is gonna be a journey. Going up and down the scale. Where? It's like, uh. God, rhythmically, genius. Oh! I just asked this question today on the community tab. Who's pushing electronic music forward? Maybe G. Jones. Oh, that's so clean. I love that. That's an ad. Alex Lustig, uh, this guy has been quite the producer the last few years, really known for like his down-tempo atmospheric stuff. Yeah, not a lot to break down here, really just kind of a, another one of those like beautiful atmosphere kind of soundscape tracks. Uh, if you haven't heard Before by him, it was like a 2017 mixtape he had like unreleased and then published it recently. Um, that might be one of my favorite songs I've heard in a while, so definitely check that out, but he's got some cool stuff. Iso, Frost Top. Bit of a screechy lead for me so far, but we'll see how it develops. I don't love it. Some cool, like, tonal pitch, ooh, <laughs> as my own voice pitches out on me. Um, some cool tonal pitched up stuff there. Rhythmically, I mean, it's nice, it's a little familiar. I'm just not crazy about how screechy the lead is, either. Love the riser. Feels like it's got a lot of energy behind it. Yeah, see, again, much, kind of a more classic trap sound here. Nice. 
All right, we'll do one more off the Jason Ross album. Uh, can't skip over Haley and too much of a soft spot in my heart for her beautiful vocals. Like a more of a trancier intro. I'm not huge on the four on the floor energy. Melodically really pleasant, but just doesn't really stand out that much in my opinion. Yeah, and even here, this bass line going on in the background. Just don't know if I like the sound selection. Drop two any different? Yeah. I'm gonna pause it for a second. It sounds so similar to Seven Lions. It's just like, I mean, I know they're like best friends and they're obviously some of that production style is going to blend into each other's work. And because Seven Lions has the bigger name, it makes it seem like Jason Ross might be, you know, piggybacking on the sound. Um, I don't know. It's, it's not a bad track. I just don't think it's anything that's gonna stick out in my opinion. All right, some Jaws. Morton? Future Rave? but I feel like there's a little bit of that in there. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Quix. I heard like a half second of this and uh, I think I'm gonna like it. Just a little peek. Oh, I love this sound. This is, oh, this is brilliant. Oh, with the kick! Song of the week, it's gotta be. Woo. Who's pushing electronic music forward? Quicks. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. We still got another drop. you guys wow I didn't think this week would be that good just on paper but super super impressed well, I'm glad this turned out as a good one for react episode 50 although truthfully it's just probably more like 130 40 here 40 at sidewalk and or no, not 140. I don't know. Somebody can tally him up. All right, we got Slander with what looks like would be a dark, ominous, heavy bass album art. It's already starting to sound that way. Slander with a change of sound. Some might say it's overdue, but this seems like quite the uh, quite the jump from six-minute ballads with two minute long build ups and pretty saw waves. Well, I don't really know how to feel about it. Just, 
I mean, totally different sound. Definitely a time for experimenting and trying new things. I don't know if this is it. Melodic. Seems odd to have this piano in here after all of that chaos. Maybe I'm missing something, but this just seems strange to me. I don't know. What, what do we think in the comments? Is slander uh, taking a new turn, or is this just an experiment? All right, that's going to be it for this week. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Um, yeah, a couple of really great tracks from Quix, Grizz, LS Dream. Oh, what was the other one? It was pretty solid. I'm already forgetting. Uh, oh, yes, the Affinity track was also solid. Um, yeah, it's kind of a toss-up because all three of those were worthy of Song of the Week. Um, as always, let me know what you thought in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon.